Good evening, my little cubs. It's Saber. Um, we're going to be playing a bit more of Lost Girl's Diary. We're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, I also want to say I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot lately. Um, my upload schedules might end up being a little bit less now because I am having to work again. The only reason why I'm posting right now is because I had to take off tonight. Um, but on my days off, I will be sure to post the two videos every day. Um, I might be doing a bit more of this, might be doing a bit more Geometry Dash. I might try to do some, um, Prop Hunt. I might. I don't know. It all depends. Uh, I noticed that when I recorded it with OBS with a friend of mine, um, the footage became a lot darker. So you couldn't see anything, and when I tried to edit it, it didn't really work. So, you know, that's something. But anyways, let's jump right in. Yes, load that file, please. Black bed sheet. X Hotel, 10 p.m. And I am going to... Notifications. Uh, I'm gonna set myself to be do not disturb so that I don't get any notifications. Okay. Uh, okay, the story is about the black veal. I heard it from a boy who heard it from a girl who was in the camp where it happened. So, this story is true! There was a girl in the camp. Her name was Yana. She was tall, slim, with a braid down to the heels. Her skin was soft, the lips were red like corals, and the eyes were big and shining like forest lakes on a summer's day. A real knockout. Sorry, my nose is a G at times. Um, yeah. The entire half of the camp boys were into her, even some camp leaders. But they were nothing to her. Yana only used them while they're happy to satisfy every single whim of hers. I'm sorry, I'm having my allergies act up a little bit too. Let me adjust this just a wee bit. There we go. Some of the boys even fought for her. She had been reported eventually, but the teachers put wool over their eyes for her. It only took her one guilty face to make a clean getaway. And that was it. No one would say a word. She changed boyfriends like socks, but some of them got lucky to make. I got me. What? I didn't. Shush, Rent. Also, there was a couple in the camp. They were so deep in love that they couldn't live apart. Every spare moment they had, they spent together. While the Belle had found out about them, she was looking to steal the boyfriend. But she was waiting for the right moment. And it just so happened to be the dance party in the camp. Yana was dressed in a satin dress as dark as a moonless night. In high heels, she decorated her braids with scarlet bow. Everyone made way for her. All the boys wanted to dance with her, but she was way out of their league. The time of Lady's Choice had dance had come, and she asked him for the dance. And then she seduced him. He couldn't resist her, so Yana snatched him up. But his girlfriend followed them, and then she found the ma- Oh, you got me. I didn't! Making out. Ew! Shut up, you all. That's how it was. The next morning, the camp leaders were counting children and found two of them missing. The two were the girl and her boyfriend. They were looking for them, and they found the boy lying in a valley with his bones 
broken as if he was grasped with a gigantic hand. And the girl was found too, hung on a tree. There was a note under the tree, but it was what was written on it was kept a secret. Chaos reigned in the camp. Neither the police, nor the ambulance, nor the fire department could make any sense of what happened. But I thought... Ouch! Stop hitting me, Vera! Shut up already! What happened to the pretty girl? Ouch! Shh! And then, children dis were disappearing. They were found in the forest, dead, either suffocated to death, or their bones broken, just the way it happened to the boy. Another strange thing was that before the children died, just like the boy they made... Lisa! You got it, in you? The camp leaders were on the watch every night. But children kept on disappearing from their beds. Scared parents began chilled to taking their children home. The principal had a heart attack. Moreover, the rest of the children stayed up all night, hoping to catch the murderer. When the clock counted twelve, they saw a window swinging open as the black veil th flew through it. It grabbed a sleeping kid, tied him up, and took him outside. Everything happened so fast that only one boy managed to hit the veil with a stick. After the stolen boys found the, day, the next morning, the eldest camp leader confessed about what was in the note. There was a curse written on it. The suicide girl cursed the entire camp, but no one believed the curse was real. Although they should have. The girl turned out to be a gypsy. That is why you don't mess with a gypsy! You don't freaking do it! You don't mess with gypsies! No! Err. The camp leaders had examined the children, and they found a huge bruise on Yana's hand. Then they searched for her clothes, and found Yana wrapped into the black veil. Um... I'm gonna have to edit this? They beat her to death right away and incinerated her body in a huge fire. No one ever went missing again. Ever since then, local, locals believe that from time to time there is a pretty girl in black coming to a dance party, attempting to steal some girl's boyfriend. And if she succeeds, the boy is never to be found. I would go out with the black veil. What a moron. Who's next? My turn! My turn! Sorry, my nose is itching like crazy. Of course. I'm gonna tell you the story about the red teeth. Okay. Let's see, I've been recording for about eight minutes. Um. Hmm. I think this is a good stopping point for this video, because I did say that I was only going to do it part by part. Uh, that will kind of help the series to continue for a little bit longer. I know you'll probably are like, shit, uh, bleh. I know y'all are probably like, well, hey, Celine, come on, do just a little bit longer, please. But I do have another video that I need to record, and I'm sorry. Um... I'm also really sorry that I haven't been uploading. Like I said, I do have work now. Um, and I do wish that I could um, do more. But it's also a case of that my laptop is being a butt. So, you know. It sucks. And I'm trying to get the money if any of my subscribers want to commission me to do some artwork. Feel free to. Uh, just send me a message, because that would help greatly in, um, being able to, um, well, that would help greatly in helping to pay for the new computer that I'm, I need to get. Um, I'm thinking about starting a GoFundMe as well, uh, because that would probably help me get it quicker so I could hurry up and 
be able to do this a lot better. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, like right down below, comment, subscribe hopefully, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!